Howdy folks. So a uh, super quick video today. I uh, recently got one of these uh, DM USB OTG adapters and these things were touted as the world's smallest OTG adapter and uh, I think they are correct and these things are really great. Um, they, they go, they're a bit pricey. I mean for an OTG adapter they cost about five bucks which is uh, quite a bit more than what you can get the, uh, the, the little cable ones for which I, I have one of those as well. But uh, the cable one I'd always keep in my bag, but um, you can't really keep it on you. And this thing is small enough that you can actually put this in your wallet. And that's exactly what I do. I keep this in my wallet. So I truly always have an OTG adapter on hand with me. And the way that this thing works, of course, is it goes inside the USB-A connector. And this is a broken uh, flash drive. It doesn't click anymore, so I kind of got to hold it. But uh, basically, it's just got four pins, and it goes inside the USB connector like that and then you've got your micro USB on this side which then goes into your phone and uh, it's uh, and then you can of course just just pull it out at the end and uh, of course it works with uh, you know if you got a keyboard or something you can plug it in there same thing and it's it's just it's very very simple very nice now it's not perfect um, the thing that I noticed was this thing is very very precisely machined in that it's designed to fit exactly inside uh, a USB uh, A connector and it fits very snugly and uh, in these cases it works very very well. Uh, I have another flash drive here it's also broken. Um, this one it will go in but it's very very difficult to get out um, so if I were to push this all the way in I would pretty much need pliers to get it back out again so there are some connectors I'm not sure if this one is just slightly bent I think it's slightly bent um, that may be why it doesn't uh, it doesn't fit very well or a poorly machined one that's not really exactly the right spec you may have trouble getting this thing out or in even for that matter so it's not perfect but um, it works for most things of course the other big problem is if you have one of those card uh, one of those like edge connector things that's designed to slide into the USB A female socket of course this has no metal housing to go into so you can't use those I mean in a pinch you could like touch them together but of course that'd be a temporary connection as soon as you let go it would break so you couldn't really couldn't really use it like that but uh, yeah I, I gotta say these things are uh, if you didn't know that they existed um, they they do exist and they're very they're very useful so uh, I, I keep one of these on me at all times now and uh, yeah I mean that's I think that's in, uh, that's all there really is to say about these things so yeah you can get these for a bunch of from a bunch of places direct from China as well as um, a bunch of uh, North American sellers and generally speaking you might as well just buy it from the North American sellers because the uh, uh, the China sellers want almost just as much for these things um, they're they're quite a hot product because they uh, they only came out within I think the last year or so um, the, the price hasn't uh, hasn't come down on them yet anyway hopefully that was interesting thanks for watching